All right, hello everybody. So uh, fall is already here for a few weeks now, <laughs> and it's been like uh, almost a week that I've been uh, watering all the plants at night so they don't freeze. And yeah, this year was really, uh, as I've said a few times, a weird, weird year for uh, tomatoes. As you can see, most of my tomatoes are still green. <laughs> But, you know, time has come to uh, collect them before they freeze. I better have a green tomatoes than uh, half frozen tomatoes because they all get like, you know, mushy and such. So yeah, I'm gonna be collecting my tomatoes. And worst case scenario, if they are, uh, they stay green. Because that's the thing about tomato, if it hadn't start to change color on the vine, there's a big chance that it's gonna stay green. It's gonna rot green even. But you know, I'm gonna put them in soups or something else like that. And all things considered, I still had a lot of tomatoes. It's just too bad that they're mostly all green. Oh. Alright. I'm gonna be collecting the tomato that yeah the tomatoes. Some onions and uh, my pumpkins and uh, leftover squashes. Oh yeah, and some potatoes since I don't have any more. But every cold crop is gonna be perfectly fine for a while. Ah, uh, yeah, let me show you my Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Look at that. They're pretty great. Even got a little bit of broccoli. And actually I'm gonna collect this one because it's starting to flower. And you know what? I'm gonna let them flower and make seeds. Hopefully, I'll get some for uh, when this winter is sprouting. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat some leaves if I ever need some. Alright, let's do this. That, this. Even Cookie's helping me. <laughs> Alright, there's like way too many tomatoes that are still like dark green. Oh, there you go. So the heck with it, you see the plants haven't froze that much, a little bit, some leaves on the top. So I took every green tomato on the top and the ones on the bottom, I'm just going to keep watering them. did find this though, beautiful red tomatoes. Mmm, does not compare with store bought. Look at my beautiful onions, look at the roots on those. <laughs> I'm gonna give some to my sister too. Oh yeah, I need to collect the basil too. Yeah, the carrots though, they're gonna stay in for a while not yet. And as you can see, they've plumped up quite a lot. Don't know how big they are though, underneath. Oh well, they are big enough so I cannot rip them out. But you know, this is what I wanted. Small carrots, I hope they're not like a foot long. <laughs> Alright, let's get the pumpkins now. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a big one. Yeah, this is why I grow uh, <laughs> sunflowers for the bees. And yeah, they took kind of a tumble because of wind and the, the weight of their head. But, uh, yeah, not having anything. Well, the birds like to eat the seeds off of them. So, you know, you don't have to grow them and the birds eat them and the bees feed on it. Look at that. Yeah, that's what I want to show you. It's all empty. <laughs> the birds all came in and did their job. So yeah, that was today's harvest. Not too shabby. Some beautiful Swiss chard. And I have still a lot more. I even found a uh, surprise cucumber. 
under the Brussels sprouts a perfect apple one a lot of tomatoes beautiful onions pumpkins smaller squashes I still got bigger ones in the house and there's still uh, some growing in my compact compost batch it's still really beautiful so no way I'm gonna take them out right now some butternut squashes don't seem ready but yeah I'm gonna put them in a the soup and from four potatoes pieces I got this yeah all right see you people